Is this what Richard Mellon was like? <laughs> well, it is actually one of the things which um, I focused on uh, in the spring of 2013 when I was asked to go to the uh, University of London for a private unveiling of the facial reconstruction based on Richard III's skull. And I thought, okay, what, if it is Richard III, what should I be looking for? And I looked particularly at this portrait and also at the National Portrait. And the features that came out were the nose, the slightly aquiline nose, quite a strong chin, quite a prominent chin. And I went in and I looked at the facial reconstruction Hit me between the eyes because there it was, the nose and the chin, um, very prominent. And um, it does seem to have been confirmed that these are actually based on some sort of accurate portrait. Here we're dealing with copies, a favourable copy, an unfavourable copy, but they, but they are based on a portrait that was an authentic portrait and that did actually show what Richard III. But if you've seen the facial reconstruction, I do have an issue with it on two points. One point is the hair. The hair, obviously, what was done um, at the University of Dundee um, to produce the facial reconstruction based on the skull, uh, that simply produced the shape of the face. Additional features like the hair and the costume, they were added later. Well, after the people in Scotland had been told to be Scotland and thought they were working. Um, so um, it's with those additional features that I have theories. But the hair on the facial reconstruction, it is brown, but it's straight hair. But Richard III's hair in this portrait, and if you look at the National Portrait Gallery portrait as well, or at the Women's Portrait as well, seems to be wavy or almost curly. Not straight. But I think that wig of facial reconstruction needs changing. 